I thought I would show you what I did over the weekend and kind of all day yesterday. Over the weekend, I did a live hangout with Mary Abrams and Vicki Ross and Roseberry Morris. And I'll put a link to that in the video description. I'll probably mention lots of links and just check them all out in the video description. But what, what we did, we just brought our own art and, you know, did our own thing live for a little while. It was a lot of fun. And I'll show you what I did. Um, one of these. Vicki was toning down all of her bright backgrounds and I was <laughs> ramping mine up. <laughs> so I did just this really bright background with acrylic paint and this was a magazine cutout that I had recently found and put some words on it you know no big deal just a fun bright page that I love and I also worked in my little watch face junk journal book thing I started it quite a while ago it's just a little junk journal and I've been taking watch faces and putting people faces in place of the watches. So, I don't, that just makes me happy. I don't know why. It's almost like a little frame. And then, you know, there's kind of that play on words. Watch face. Get it? <laughs> yeah, okay, it entertains me. So, see how cute these are? I just really... I think they're cute they're fun to do and I like the little tiny page you know don't really have to do much to them so I was um, filling watches with people faces and going through my stash of stuff collecting watches that were the right size looking for people faces and I found this one image it had these three ladies on it some advertisement out of a magazine I don't even know what for but they were together you know I cut them out hooked together so they had three heads and I was cutting the faces out of watches and putting over these ladies faces and it tickled me because the watches look like diving helmets on them and from there it just kind of took on a life of its own <laughs> and I ended up with this so here's the three gals and you know I had the put the watches on them and I thought ooh diving helmets and then I remembered I had these watch crystals they're plastic that I got I don't know like a hundred years ago somewhere who knows where probably American Science and Surplus but had them forever I've got different sizes so I put a, a plastic thing so that they kind of look like diving helmets and then Rosemary I think it was Rosemary who said Oh, you just need some, uh, uh, an octopus. <laughs> I dug through my stash, and I had this background with this giant octopus. This was actually an advertisement for Disney, um, a little mermaid attraction, I think, and this was Ursula. That's how long I've had this page. It's been quite a while. So I put the ladies on here. I put, you know, cut a tentacle so it kind of fit around her. And then someone said, oh, you have to put eyes in the little suction cups. Managed to find a, uh, another advertisement I've been hoarding for years that had all these eyeballs on it. So I punched out some of the eyeballs and put a few of them right there. And then found this I cut out of National Geographic. It was an article about jellyfish. And it just made me laugh. <laughs> like, like they're the seven dwarves. <laughs> and here's scary, squishy, brainless, and beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. So, yeah, things got really weird. And <laughs> from there, it just got weirder. Because I was really liking, you know, looking for the faces. And then that led me into my paper doll binder where I keep all of my cut out faces and dresses and arms and legs to make paper dolls which y'all have seen me do before I've done videos on that I think somewhere and um, at the same time I'd also had a stack of images I needed to file away and they came out of 
a magazine, a Wine Spectator. This is Wine Spectator, which is larger, it's taller than your average magazine. And I've already really kind of harvested this one, but it is full of wine bottles. All different sizes, some of them are really big, it's got some little ones. So I cut a lot of wine bottles out of here and I'm really fascinated with wine bottles, perfume bottles, there's any kind of bottles, I don't know why, but they make me really happy. So I tend to accumulate them. So there I was with my bottles and my paper doll pieces and I just started putting them together and started making these bottle dolls, bottle babes whatever <laughs> and um i shared a picture of them the other day and someone was like oh yeah we made those years ago so it's not a new thing but it's it's just something that i just now caught on to i guess but it's just basically take using the the bottle a perfume bottle or a wine bottle as a body and then adding to it to just make these little paper dolls and it's making me really happy and you know you can get as fancy like this one she's got a little mask and I gave her a necklace and her arms are super long she's like a little monkey woman here but that's okay because she's funny and then she's got legs you know so she's kind of fancy and then this girl she's simple and I kind of like her just like this just a bottle of head and wings so that's cute so this is what I've been making and I thought I mean, this is, is easy and fun, and thought y'all might want to make them too. And there's nothing to making them. It's not like I have to teach you how to make them, but I can give you some ideas on, on how to find um, images for them. That might be helpful. And then what to do with them afterwards. Here's, okay, I've got several of these scout guides, and y'all have seen me work in these before, and several people have sent me scout guides from their area, which I dearly love, because... I love the scout guides and I love seeing um, the ones from different areas. This one, I believe Melody sent me this one from Little Rock. And look, I put Bogey, I cut his face out thinking I would use him in a watch, but his face ended up being too oblong for my watches or, you know, for the little journal, like his whole head would go on a page. So yeah, he didn't work for this project. So he was laying there. And then my bottles were laying there, and then the two met up, and I went, oh, he needs to have a little bottle body. So I made him a little bottle body, gave him some girly arms. I just found the purse, because after I put them all together, I was like, dang, those arms are crooked, just perfect for a purse. So there it is. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. Just loop it around his arm. There we go. Now I can secure that hand down so the little fingers don't get narfed up. This is really not my favorite thing to do, y'all, because it, I mean, okay, yeah, it is my favorite thing to do, putting the bodies together. I super duper love doing that. But the fussy cutting, I super duper don't love that. And it does require a fair bit of fussy cutting. Um, especially if you use arms, which you don't have to, but you know. Arms come with fingers and it never fails when I'm fussy cutting. I usually amputate at least one every time. It's just, you know, part of it. But look, I gave him little shoes and the hat. And he's standing here on the polo field because, you know, I think Bogey would, would like polo and there was another rider behind him that his body covered up perfectly so I didn't even have to you know mess with him and um he just looks like <laughs> the way the ball the polo this ball thing is looks like he just laid an egg <laughs> yeah so this makes me happy I really like this and then I decided I want to make some more bottle bodies and put them on these, you know, like he just needs a fat body to cover him so that I don't have to worry about, you know, uh, making him disappear. And then just put them in these different situations. <laughs> See? I mean, she just needs to be in the lineup there, right? So, yeah. 
I'm going to use the Scout Guide and the Bottle Bodies, and really all I have to do is make sure she is my, um, kind of my standard here. They can't be any taller than this girl. So I can't use my biggest bottles, you know, like in Wine Spectator. Some of them are really big. See, like this one, because there's barely room for a head on that one. So I've got to kind of stick to smaller bottles, you know, medium-sized smaller bottles. And then I can use whatever size head you want, because I really don't worry about proportions, because they're funny when they're out of proportion. See, these arms are way too big for her, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> Or maybe the arms are right. Maybe it's her legs are too small. Yeah, I don't know. I had the legs a lot longer, and then I had to shorten her because she was too tall for the, my, my uh, book. So anyway, that's all there is to it. It's just putting the pieces together. But what you might, what might be helpful for you is knowing where to find parts and pieces. Okay, bottles, of course, like I said, Wine Spectator is awesome. Almost, they're kind of like watch faces. Almost any magazine, you're going to find an advertisement for wine or liquor. I like the liquor bottles, too. I don't even drink, y'all, but I love the bottles. <laughs> even the glasses, like I cut out the other day. This, oh, this was a, a margarita on the rocks. I, I like that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I like it. Okay. So yeah, beer bottles, um, just cut out any bottles. See, look at these little ones. This will be, here's another like seven dwarf situation because I got a bunch of the same there. So yeah, accumulate some bottles. And um, faces, of course, you can get out of magazines. You can also print online. Okay, here's what, here's what I do for online. I find my images and then I save them and then I drag them into just an empty um, document in my word processor and then resize them and print them out, you know, a whole bunch on one page. So all of these arms were a different photo file. I don't know where I got these because I've had them a long time, sorry. But anyway, um, I just dropped them in, resized them, printed them out hats. I love putting funny hats. Legs. Same thing. I've got some little legs. I've got some big legs. So print out a variety of sizes. And, you know, this makes it um, really easy just dropping them into your word processor and resizing them. Now, to look for these images, you want to search for, don't put in body parts into Google or like disembodied heads because <laughs> you tend to get what you ask for and you really don't want that. <laughs> so be smarter than me <clears throat> and um, okay I'd written down a note oh here it is unsplash.com u-n-s-p-l-a-s-h dot com that is a stock photo site that has a bunch of free photos that you can download images um, I found some people faces on there um, so check out unsplash.com and any other site that offers free, not just royalty free, but free, free, free um, images that you can download. And do try to make sure that they are royalty free and not copyrighted. You know, if you do a Google image search, which I do, that's fine, but you just want to make extra sure that you're not downloading um, someone's Etsy shop product. Now, usually they'll be watermarked, but you know, just be respectful and print things that you're allowed to print. So if you're doing a search, you want to use search terms like free, printable, and usually like, because the order of the terms doesn't really seem to matter. I get the same results no matter what. So I'll put free printable and the words collage sheet. That seems to um, bring up the kind of images that we want. Because if I put in like free printable paper doll head, I get a bunch of like coloring book images. And I think it's because that's the trend now is people printing out stuff to do adult coloring and you get a lot of black and white line drawings. So if you add the word collage sheet, that seems to kind of help. Um, adding the word vintage helps too. 
if you like the vintage images, you know, the hats and the shoes and the accessories, put free printable vintage collage sheet hats. Free printable collage sheet arms. Free printable collage sheet shoes. You know, things like that. But that free printable collage sheet, vintage or not, <clears throat> tends to help Google to understand what we're looking for. I hope that makes sense. Give it a try. Once you start searching for stuff, you'll see that, you know, if you're just putting in like paper doll arms, you're not really going to get much of what you want. You know, you may get a few, but really all you need to find is one good image that works for you. Click on that and then Google will sometimes suggest similar images and that helps a lot too. So that is my tip for finding images for printing them out. I don't even worry so much about quality. Some of these are really good quality, some are not. Um, it doesn't bother me either way because, you know, I'm not making fancy art. I'm not selling these, obviously. Um, this is just me for fun. So, so you want to put one together? Let's put one together. Let's do, <laughs> okay, let's find the bottle. First things first, find a bottle and a head that match up. See, I need to put all of these really big ones aside. That would make a cool body. Because I'm not... <coughs> oh, that one might work. <coughs> yeah, those are too big for my journal that I'm working in. If you don't have a specific journal in mind, then... You can use any size bottle you want, but she's my my standard here. I don't want to get any bigger than that. So, we use these smaller bottles, and I'm using mostly wine, beer, and liquor bottles. Um, I haven't really started using a whole lot of perfume bottles yet. Um, I don't know why. <laughs> just cuz. Okay? Just cuz. Now, there's my bottles. Here's some heads that I printed out. And sometimes I'll print out, you know, famous people, sometimes just regular people, just whatever I can find. Um, and then when I put them in my word processor, sometimes I'll print them out in several different sizes. You know, the same head. And I'm kind of liking... I think I want to use either one of these girls or one of these girls because they were a beast to cut out and I want to... <clears throat> Let's see, she might need a little surgery. I don't know that head's a little small. Maybe right here. That's about right. Hmm... I'm not sure if I can use her arms. See, I'm trying to decide, okay, how would I need to cut to make her, um, to make the arms work? Making her head work would be easy. Don't know till you try, right? Okay, let's try. Let's see if we can make this girly work. Oh, I like this one too. She would be easier. It's oh, a little small. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and go with this one. Now, put my little cutting mat here, get my exacto, and I'm going to cut her head off around the chin. Because usually I've been using the neck of the bottle as the um, person's neck. And that works just fine. So. She doesn't need to have a super long neck, I don't think. She just needs a little, like right there. Because so. see, this is like her shoulders, right? So 
so oh yeah there she goes that's what she needs so you can use just a fast drying glue glue stick or this I use this Tombow mono multi liquid glue it's been working really well okay go. Now, that look, that'll work. <laughs> it works just perfectly, actually. <laughs> I have to cut off a little bit of, a little bit of side boob right there. <laughs> okay. Now, Okay. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Okay. Now, she's got that weirdness going on. I could put a dress on her if I wanted to, but I just really like, I like the bottles to show. Wings, I've been using um, butterflies. I cut out a whole bunch of butterflies that I got, you know, found online to use for wings. If I wanted to and I'm okay with arms and wings you know it's not necessarily an either or so I don't know let me see I don't know if I want wings on her or not that's actually not bad I don't like the bigger ones. Maybe she needs something even smaller. That's kind of cute. That little bitty wings? No. That moth. Maybe that moth is what she needs. Uh-huh. Or do I want to lower? And maybe... Um, so you have to kind of amputate and separate the wings so that they're, yeah. That's better. That's what I'm needing. Okay. And... There we go. Now she's got arms, she's got wings, she's got a really floppy neck. I think her chin needs to be glued really down more. There we go. Now does she need, what does she need? Maybe some shoes or a hat or both? Okay. I didn't cut out very many shoes. But I did, and what I did on the shoes, y'all, because normally the ones that I found were like, like this is one image right here. So I drag it into my word processor so I could put it on a page. I copied it and then flipped it horizontally and pasted it over here. So that way I've got a right and a left shoe. Okay, since I've got these shoes cut out. I can go ahead and I don't want these. 
that way? I can do this way. No, that looks stupid. This way. Yeah, just like that. And... Yeah, her feet are going to be a little wonky. I'm good with that. <laughs> Probably could have given her some legs, but she's already tall. You know what? Actually, I wonder legs would be better on her. My legs. Mm, I don't see any that look particularly appropriate for her. So, go over here to my legs. See if I cut right below the label. That's really kind of cute right there. That one. Oh, those are cute. I want those legs. Okay. Change of plans. I'm going to fussy cut these legs. And even though I'm only going to need from like here down, I cut this part out too because that's my, I'm going to use that to glue to the body. And I do um, usually look for legs that are fairly easy to cut out. Because there's all kinds of cute ones, you know, where the girls are wearing these fancy stilettos and stuff. And they look real cute, but I don't have good luck <laughs> cutting out stilettos. It's like fingers! I end up cutting the heel off. There she is. Cute, cute, cute. Now if I wanted to add accessories, I could, you know, a little necklace. I could use some little beads or a little piece of ribbon for a belt or put some glitter glue on there or something. But yeah, don't want to. <clears throat> oh, a hat. We're going to check out a hat, weren't we? Um, do you think? Oh, I think that one. No, I like this little subtle black hat. And we'll put it... No, I like it like that. Okay.
And there's our little bottle babe. All dressed up with legs and arms and wings. Now, see, isn't that fun? That is fun. Okay, the fussy cutting, not fun for me. I know some of y'all love fussy cutting, and that's just really bizarre for me. <laughs> but you know what? More power to you. Um, but it is easy to do, you know, gather up images, and then when you're sitting on the couch watching TV or something, you can just do your fussy cutting and then have your bunch of stuff out and ready to go to assemble into your little bottle dolls. So that's all I have for today, y'all. I hope you have fun with this. The end. Oh, hang on. What? What you doing? I'm literally filming a video. Are you? Yes. You're lucky I'm not live. Um, so you're going to edit this out? Yes. Okay, well, I just called to tell you I love you. Oh. I love you, too. Okay. That's Bye. it? That's it. Oh. Okay. I love you. Bye. Bye.